Hello, happy Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday because we were just kind of getting back into our routine from going to Colorado and Ross started school yesterday. So we were just trying to figure out what the heck was going on because our whole routine was just like shot. No more routine. Got to figure it out now. So as I talk aggressively with my hands, 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 hands. Um, but yesterday, well, Sunday, actually Sunday really late which was technically Monday because it was after midnight. I did finish Timekeeper, finally. Woohoo! I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars. I, there was a reason I didn't remember much of it the first time. It's, it's a good book, but it's not fantastic. It doesn't really stick with you. There's a lot of problems in it. Um, like the love that I mentioned before, it's... It kind of feels not only forced, but... Like, the guy doesn't want it to happen, but kind of just accepts his fate that this is what it is. And it's it's really weird, but Rebecca's part in it, or like lack thereof, was also weird because this was supposed to be a big battle against her. And she just didn't play as big of a role as I thought she was going to play. I, I don't know. So, I do like Michelle, and I like Philip, and the ending of this book wasn't... It was very open-ended. Well, there wasn't a conclusion. And I was like, okay, is there another book? No, there's not another book. And it just seems like it was setting up for another book. Yesterday morning, I actually finished Before the Double Breaks You. Yes, I finished it! Woo! It took me, I think my calendar says it took me 15 days, but Goodreads told me it took only 10, so... Somewhere in there, there's like this, there's like this five day discrepancy about what was happening in my life, apparently. I enjoyed it. I gave it four out of five stars. The two books after The Diviner's Layer of Dreams and Before the Double Break You weren't as captivating and they were a lot slower paced than The Diviner's was. And I loved The Diviner's and I loved the murder mystery aspect of it. This book, I enjoyed and I love these characters. I love, love these characters. But I could not find a plot. I don't I don't really know where this book was going, even at the end. Like, it it, it really was a, just a setup for the next book. There was nothing, like, holding this book apart. I felt like there could have been some kind of bad guy or something that they were facing and some, some kind of plot. And I didn't find it. If you guys know... The plot if you guys found a plot in before the devil breaks you please let me know like come at me tell me tell me Brittany you missed the plot and tell me it because I don't know I just didn't see it but there were some really great quotes in before the devil breaks you there was a whole chapter I think called the dead and that wow and everyone should listen to the author's note at the end because that was amazing that last line was was fantastic. She, as some, I think it goes, um, this is a ghost story because we live in a haunted house and it's all about America. I thought that was amazing. I did really enjoy this book and I, I always wanted to pick it up and I, I love these characters. Like, do not get me wrong, I love Sam and Evie and Theta and Memphis and Isaiah and Henry and Ling. I love them all. And then I was gonna start listening to Dream Thieves um, but it's not available on Libby yet. I have it on hold. So when it's available, it'll go straight to me because I am the next person in line for this book. But I needed something to read and I spent like most of yesterday trying to figure out what the heck I was going to read. Um, and I did like a really weird thing. I wrote them all down and then I went to a number generator and I pushed a number and instead of like picking the book that the number chose, I like scratched out that book. So it was like one through seven and so it would go like, oh, seven and I would scratch out seven and I got down to two and then I I picked Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. This book just came out in April, it came out in April. Um, I am two and a half hours into this book and I'm really enjoying it. I loving how she's weaving in what you need to know about the world into what our main character, Anne, is going through. So it explains it, but it's the, it explains it in a way that's not so data dumpy. And um, it has been some. And so that's, that's really great because when it's data dumpy, it kind of ruins the world building for you. But this is done in such a way that, you know, it kind of just weaves it into the story. So I'm really enjoying this so far. 
I did film today and I'm having problems with the audio and the video syncing. Like they're very off. They're like two or three seconds off. So that's ridiculous. So Ross is going to try to help me, but I was going to try to have it up today. I'm still going to try to have it up today, but it may have to go up tomorrow. So like a, the past couple years, I've been a Ravenclaw, but every time I would take a test, like the computer didn't like the like the BuzzFeed or the New York Times ones um I they would they would tell me I was either Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw and it was never like a very solid answer I would always get one of the the two or like kind of like a combination of the two so I always had like a, this identity crisis well today I was like well I'm just gonna take them again I took four quizzes three of them were like online and one of them was Pottermore and all four of them all four of them solidly said that I'm a Hufflepuff and I freaked out, texted my husband, texted my mom, texted my friend Megan. I was like, I don't know what to do. So Megan, she texted me back. She was like, I'm a Hufflepuff too. From what I know about you, so are you. And I was like, okay. And my mom, my mom was like, I have no idea what to tell you. And <laughs> so I think I'm going to go with Megan and I'm just going to solidly identify as a Hufflepuff now. It feels like the better house. I always had like reservations about being a Ravenclaw. I'm like, I'm not the smart, smartest person I know. I hate riddles. I'd hate getting into the house, the dormitory. I can't do that. So we'll go with Hufflepuff. And on another note, I finally got my bookshelves filled. So I show you my bookshelves, bookshelves. They're not completely full. But I did them by categories. So up at the top we have adult, um, contemporary, and then adult um, mystery. And then down here is adult historical fiction and then adult fantasy. I don't have a lot of adult fantasy. And then down here we have young adult fantasy. And then we have young adult contemporary and young adult historical fiction. And then we keep going down. This is classics and fairy tales. And then oh! the way at the bottom we have historical books and then we have like miscellaneous books there's some like self-help books um the vegan way and the like a ooh, christmas treasury which i got as a gift from my second grade teacher so i've always kept it and i'm not gonna get rid of it but i don't know where to put it so it's going down at the bottom and i'm going to get rid of three books i'm gonna get rid of the fairy path and um star crossed and goddess because I don't think I'm ever going to pick them up. There's all these movies coming out that I really want to watch. And they are based off of books. Like, To All the Boys I've Loved Before is already out. Crazy Rich Asians is already out. And then um, The Hate You Give is coming out. So they're all based off of books, and I want to read the books. I really want to watch To All the Boys I Loved Before, though. I'm debating whether or not I want to read the book first or not. I'm going to go figure out what to read. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Hello everyone and happy Thursday. This is a weird Thursday. It really feels like a Friday verging on a Saturday. I, I don't know. It's just, it's been really weird and I have to apologize right off the bat for not vlogging yesterday. I haven't been sleeping well this week and so I've just been like really out of it in like kind of zombie mode and so today, not that I slept any better last night, but I slept in. So I didn't like make myself get up. I just kept sleeping <laughs> until I was okay and so I feel a lot better today now that I've slept. So we're gonna vlog. So I've got lots of things to tell you guys. I just got done filming my video for tomorrow. And um, it's another tag video. I love tag videos. Friday I received book mail, but we were in Colorado. So I kind of just opened it when we got back on Sunday. Forgot to film it, but I was just so excited to open this. It was really late, so you really you can't blame me so much that I forgot to but then I forgot to tell you guys on Tuesday, and I'm um, just so sorry, but I got Nevernight by J. Kristoff. I am so excited to read this book. I've heard such great things about it. It seems like it's got everything for me. It's about Mia, who is an assassin, or she's training to be an assassin. That's all I know. Mia, assassin. I think there's a cat, is what I've seen. I don't know. So, I'm really excited to read this one. We went to get my dress altered for my big's wedding. The new one finally came in and it's like the exact same dress as my old one that didn't fit but it's slightly darker color but it's still really pretty and I love it and it came in and we went to go get it altered. I just needed, I'm so short that I had to get it hemmed and get the shoulders fixed. Then we went to Target because I needed eyeliner because I ran out yesterday but now I have eyeliner so we're all good here. But I also got um, 
this amazing eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. It's got 48 different colors and like these two brushes. It was a really great price. So I actually am wearing the gold color. It's this color down here. That is what I am wearing today and I'm loving it so far. Um, also, I'm loving this Hufflepuff thing. So I got a Hufflepuff mug. Look at my mug. Look at my mug. Hufflepuff. And then on the back it says loyalty, kindness, honesty, and friendship. And honestly, uh, honestly, get it? Because honestly, honestly, like these are um, four of the things I value most in people. So it totally makes sense that this is my house. So up in the Hufflepuff. I was really sad because I wanted a Hufflepuff shirt. Target has all this Harry Potter merch out right now. A lot of it. One is Gryffindor and like... Where's the other houses, Target? And then two, all of their clothing was like kids clothing. What? Really? You realize that like most adults love this more than kids these days, right? Like, where's my adult t-shirts? Where's my adult Hufflepuff stuff? Anyways. There is this really adorable Hedwig clutch that I kind of want, but I didn't get it because I got this instead. It is this cute sign. It's like wood decoration, wood decoration. And it's just got like history of magic and potions, spells, and charms. And it's really great. I'm putting it on my bookshelf and it's going to stay there forever. And finally, we got um, Infinity War. Ross and I actually haven't seen this movie. Oops. But we got it, so now we're going to watch it. We meant to go watch it in theaters when it came out because it came out on his birthday weekend. But it came out earlier than his birthday weekend. It came out, like, the week... It came out the weekend before his birthday weekend, and I... We didn't get tickets ahead of time, and I was like, look, you realize, like, this is the most anticipated movie release of this year. We are not going to get tickets if we try to go get tickets right now. Like, the day it's released, we're not going to get tickets. So... We like kept putting it off because we we're like, oh, we'll just get tickets. And then we, yeah, we totally forgot. And then, yeah, so we're going to watch it now. I'm, I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm so scared. I, I've seen some spoilers, so I know, but like still I'm scared. Reading update. I really didn't listen to much of Ace of Shades yesterday, but I have some cleaning I need to do today. So that'll be a great time to listen to Ace of Shades. I'm only three hours in. I only have like nine hours left, so that's not so bad. I Every time I pick it up, I really like it, so I'm still really enjoying the story. I know that a lot of people have said they didn't like Anne at the beginning, but I do. I love Anne, and it may be because I kind of love the fact that she um, came into this story with her, her values and her... Um, her way of life and like that's what she knows and so that's what she's sticking to and like everything that's changing she like only sort of pushes back against it but she's still she's still doing everything she needs to do she's like accepting what she has to do but, like trying to stay with who she is as a person but also at the same time like questioning who she is and what she's learned and uh, what she knows and but you know she came in with this set of morals and her way of life and She's, she's like, this is who I am. I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm just going to be who I am. But you can also see that fire in her soul. I can see it in some of her interactions. Um, and I just really enjoy her as a character. I really like this world. As you guys know, I started taking notes. And so I just, like, took notes all about this world. Like, their currency, their, like, the blood talent and the split talent. And who's running which gangs and um, stuff like that. And I just... I'm only three hours in, but I'm really, really enjoying this story. So we'll see if that keeps going. I'm going to listen to some more today. I will update you guys about that. But also, I am reading the first novella that is in the novella Bind Up Through the Dark. It's called In Time. I would show you if I could find the page. Yeah, here we go. So it's just this. It's like 93 pages, and I'm 60 pages in. So I should be able to finish that. I... Meant to do more things yesterday, but I was so tired and I couldn't get myself to do a lot of things So I just sat down um, In my studio I sit by the right here because this is the window and then I sit by the window and I have this like back pillow and a blanket and I sit there and I read and so I read for a really long time and yeah I don't want to give 
too much away about this novella. I thought this novella was going to be about Zoo and uh, Liam. But it's, it's, it's about Zoo, but it's also a, about a skip chaser who finds Zoo after she leaves East River. That's all I'm going to say. But one of my favorite things about this is the fact that the skip tracer, his name is Gabe, he's questioning himself and uh, the society. Um, he wants, I mean, he wants to be a skip tracer so that he can get money and make a better life for himself, which I totally get. But, you know, he, he keeps referring to them as freaks, or he did at the beginning, he called them all freaks, and then... He met Zoo, and he's starting to question what he knows about the Psy kids and about what the handbook says about these kids and everything that he thinks he knows about these kids. He's starting to question, and um, I think Alexander Brackett does a really great job of showing that. And um, even like the smallest details of instead of calling them freaks, calling them kids, and I just and then he like corrects himself, and um, I just think that's really cool. I just moved the Throne of Glass series. It used to live in my living room on the bookshelves there, but I put it on my on my bookshelf. You guys want to see? So now it lives here. Oh, I was like, what? What goes here? Oh, never mind. It goes here. So now it lives here, and I actually had to extend my fantasy shelf to down there as well. So I moved my contemporary, young adult contemporary, all the way down there. That's still historical fiction, you know, historical fiction. And then down there is the uh, classics and fairy tales. So, already starting to have to rearrange my bookshelf. I kind of, I had let Throne of Glass live out in the living room for a while, but I was like, you know, I'm, I kind of want it in here with me. So, I moved it. Ross's mom is coming in town. She doesn't know about the whole booktube thing yet. I don't know if I want to tell her. But... It's gonna make vlogging hard if she doesn't know. <laughs> oh, I have the cutest story to tell you. So I was getting ready to film and eating lunch slash breakfast. So, I mean, really brunch because I slept in so late. So I was eating brunch and Berlin got underneath my desk here and she likes to, she likes to go sleep um, on the blanket. Is this, I have, I actually have this quilt that I keep at my desk. It's a full-sized quilt, so it's huge. It's absolutely huge for being a lap blanket so it just like puddles down underneath the desk and she likes to sleep there so she was sleeping there and I was working on the questions for the tag and watching some booktube videos and eating and all of a sudden I hear soft little snores and she's snoring away sacked out and I was like I was about to film but I don't want to move her <laughs> I don't want to wake her up so I waited to film for Berlin yeah that's my life I love for my dog. She left me though. She was down here, but she left me. So she really loves to be in my videos when I film. Any time that I start filming, she's like, oh, hello mom. I want to be right next to you. Or I'm gonna go sit here in frame. And I'm like, ridiculous. <laughs> so she'll be a constant in the videos. And I will update you guys later. Yeah, my hair. Oh my gosh, I like literally just curled this hair. <laughs> I curled up for my video and it's already fallen. Like, this was really curly. Ah! Oh my gosh. This is what I get. My hair can't hold a curl. I'm <laughs> like, really? I had just finished curling this like 20 minutes ago. Oh my gosh. Look, you've got like this, this good one, but everything else is, uh, I guess, soft curls. I don't know. But what I get for drying. I have yet another wedding this weekend, and I was going to curl my hair for the wedding. If it's not going to hold, I can't curl my hair. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I am going to apologize now because last week was such a weird week that I really only got two vlogs done, and I kept thinking to myself, okay, I should vlog now. Okay, I should update. I should give you guys an update. And I was like... So, last week's uh, two videos are going to be added to this week's vlog, so it'll just be like a two-week vlog instead of a one-week vlog. If you guys have any tips or tricks to let me know how to keep my curls with really fine hair, please tell me. Please tell me in the comments. Last week, I finished In Time. I was telling you guys that I was reading it, and I finished it, and I really, really liked it. Like, five out of five stars. I, 
I don't know how much it'll add to the overall storyline of Never Fade, but I just really enjoyed the story. I liked seeing Zoo again, and I liked how the story's overall message was how one person can have this huge impact on your life and change it for the better, and I just... I completely and utterly agree with that. You can just meet the right person and your whole life changes. Um, so I really enjoyed that. You guys like my new eyeshadow? I'm wearing one of the colors from my, my e.l.f. palette. I've been, I've just been wearing my e.l.f. palette colors. Uh, then after I finished In Time, I picked up A Wrinkle in Time to read for the Evolve Into Books readathon that Samantha Shares is hosting on Instagram. This is the last week. I'm about halfway through A Wrinkle in Time. I read half of it in like one day and then I just didn't pick it up. I picked it up a little bit on Sunday but I didn't pick up any books yesterday. I was just not feeling it. I kind of just chilled. Like I, like I do most Mondays. Monday's my chill day. Just like ease into the week. So I'm halfway through that. That should be an easy finish. If you participated in the Evolve Into Books readathon, let me know down below. I really want to know what you guys read and which challenge you did. I'm doing the book, dra uh, the book Dragon Challenge. Today I have been extensively listening to Ace of Shades. I started this day with having been like four and a half hours into this book and now I have two and a half hours left. So I'm, I'm honestly just been listening all day. Um, I'm really, really loving it. I'm loving In's character progression, her thought processes, her questioning of who she is. And we learn more things about her and who she is and uh, it's just great. And you get to learn about the, the kind of like the politics and the gang families and the crime lords and all that and the in New Reigns and I love it. And then her in Levi's uh, friendship and relationship, that's a great factor. You see this great cast of characters come into play in different sets and parts of the book and... I think it's great. I am just loving this book and I don't know what I'm going to do when I finish this book and I have to wait until next April to read the next one. I'm just going to be sitting here in agony. Oh, oh my gosh. Last night I was going to watch To All the Boys I've Loved Before and then I finished the first season of Avatar The Last Airbender instead. So at some point during this week I really need to work into my schedule watching To All the Boys I've Loved Before because I have just been wanting to watch it since it came out, even though I haven't read the books yet, but the books are on my list. I will get to them, but I just really want to watch the movie first because I just can't wait any longer. So, at some point during the week, I'll watch that. Um, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna read after I finish Ace of Shades. I am still waiting. I am still waiting for Dream Thieves to become available on Libby. So I'm just, it's just sitting in my holds. Um, and Next month, in September, at the end of the month, I want to listen to Strange the Dreamer because I've already read it, so I want to listen to it to get um, ready for Muse of Nightmares, the release in October. So, like, that last week of September, I'm going to listen to Strange the Dreamer, and that's, like, a two, three-week wait, so I have already put a hold on that. So, what I'm going to listen to next, I don't know. Today, I filmed a video about how I organize my TBR, so I hope you guys like that video. I felt like I just, like talking really fast. I was like, I feel like I'm really nervous, like you're giving some kind of presentation in class and yeah, I get really nervous. I was like, why? Why? I'm just talking about my TBR, but um, I have a list on my phone and printed out of 65 books that I'm going to be focusing on for the next four to six months, depending on how long it takes me to finish them. I think it's going to be around the six month mark because in November, uh, Ross and David are going to pick my TBR. They're going to pick a few books from that list and then they're going to pick a few of their own. <sighs> That's going to be interesting. So I think it's going to be around six months that these 65 books are going to take me, especially with one month that I'm only like reading half of the books that I would normally. I'm reading, you know, some that aren't my list. Um, so I'll pull from that list for what I'm going to read and what I'm going to listen to next. I am... Finally working on some new projects. I'm working on a Hufflepuff painting for myself. I'm so excited. I don't know. This is what it looks like. So it's got the badger and the crest. And then it's got patient, friendly, loyal, kind Hufflepuff. And then I think I want to do some more like here. But like a wand and a broom. And maybe something in each corner like a letter. I don't know. We'll see. I will um, keep you guys updated on how that goes. But 
I, find, I designed that and I started painting it today. Um, I designed it yesterday and started painting it today. I finally worked out a tabbing system. So I'm using six different tabs for things. It's in Timeless, I didn't use a tabbing system. I just picked a one color and stuck for it for the whole book. And so that whole book is just that one color. So you don't really know where anything is. But I now have a tabbing system. So I went back through, I think, two books and fixed those. So I'm going to do a whole video on my tabbing system later in September. So you guys can see that. So I'm going to go eat lunch and I'm going to continue to listen to Ace of Shades and continue to paint after that. While I'm eating, I may throw on some booktube videos. I'm going to try to do a lot better about updating you guys, even if it is just like a few minutes every day. Um, last week was just really bad, especially with Ross's mom being in town. I I did tell her about the booktube, so she now knows and she knows I do it, but I still haven't gotten comfortable vlogging around anyone other than Ross. I've told other people that I'm doing this. It's not like this is a giant secret, but I just, I don't know. I did try to convince David to be in one of the videos and he was like, I don't want to be on camera. And I was like, boo, lame, lame David. Oh well, I'll keep working on that. Maybe we'll get David on camera one of these days. But Ross has said he'll do some videos with me. I mean, if you've seen, he's not opposed to being in my vlogs. So we're going to try to do some videos with Ross. That'll be fun. Um, I'm really enjoying the eyeshadow in my e.l.f. palette. I've used four. Let's the box. Let's find out. I've used one, two, three, four. I've used four, possibly five. But I'm really enjoying them. They're really pretty. This one is kind of a lighter one that I've used. It's more like of a natural look, kind of lighter look. I am fully embracing my Hufflepuff house, and it's it's kind of been helping me recently. Just when I'm feeling down or whatever, just to remember the um, traits that Hufflepuff is known for, like its hard work and its patience and its loyalty and kindness, and it it kind of just motivates me and it just keeps me going. Especially when I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to do something. And then I'm like, no, we're hardworking, let's go. <laughs> and so, you know, to live up to the house name and to the house traits, it just kind of keeps me going and keeps pushing me on. So I'm going to, I'm painting myself a sign to put up in the studio so that when I feel down that I just know that I am Hufflepuff. And Hufflepuff has my back and I, I can do all things through Hufflepuff. <laughs> I will update you guys later. Bye. Hello, happy Wednesday. It is evening here. Um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> it's one of those days where you just can't talk. You just don't know what's going on. Yep, that's my day. Today I finished Ace of Shades by Amanda Pudi. I really, really, really loved this book. You scared me. Sorry, my little puppy. I was not expecting you to come out here. Surprise! It's Ross! Hello. <laughs> so I finished Ace's Ace. Oh my god, why can't I say Ace? Ace. Ace of Shades. Ace of Shades. <laughs> so I really loved the book. I gave it five out of five stars. I just really loved the world and the politics and the characters and the sort of magic. Um, I'm really looking forward to the second book. I think it's called King of Fools. It comes out in April of next year. <sighs> Waiting is going to be really hard. <laughs> There's a lot of time between now and April. Ah, I know it's going to go by a lot faster than I think, but that's going to be a lot of time. So, yeah, I'm just going to sit here waiting, and you can see Berlin. Oh, I lost, I lost Ross. Berlin's got no water. We're, we're struggling. Uh, I have not picked up A Wrinkle in Time since Sunday? Sunday? I don't know. I haven't picked it up. And I just, like, haven't really been wanting to read it. I know that I need to finish it, especially since the Evolve Into Books readathon ends on Friday. But I did get um, Nevermore. I don't know who it's by. I'll have to look it up. Uh, Nevermore, The Trials of uh, Morgan Crow on audiobook because 
I didn't know what else to pick up and that was available. And so it's sometimes really hard to get books through Libby because you kind of just have to wait for it to be available and if the book you want isn't available you just have to find another one and that, that could be a struggle. So I'm still waiting on the Dream Thieves to be available and then I will pick up that one but it's not available yet so I've got to wait and read something else. So I'm going to read Nevermore and Ross is Ross is messing with my week because we're going down to Dallas tomorrow instead of on Friday. So I have one less day here, but that's fine. Just have to move up my timeline a little bit. I am a part of the wedding we're going to this weekend. I'm a part of the house party, lower tier bridesmaids, basically. Surprise, it's Ross again. <laughs> so yeah I'm a part of the house party which is not a bridesmaid but you're part of the wedding and you're a part of the festivities and I have no idea anything else is like I said it's lower tier bridesmaids I'm just honored to be a part of the wedding I get to wear a special dress which we just got it from the tailor today I'm part of all these festivities and the wedding is on Saturday and then the rehearsal and rehearsal dinner are on Friday. So we decided to leave tomorrow so that we would have time on Friday. And like if something happened, then we wouldn't miss it or we wouldn't be in a time crunch or anything like that. So we're going out tomorrow. So I've got to pack and film and you okay, Berlin? You okay? You doing good? You're fine? All right. Barnes & Noble is having their 50% off blowout sale, or whatever it's called, so I've convinced Ross to take me to get more books. Do I need more books? No. Do I want more books? Yes. <laughs> so, we are gonna go, I think we're going on Friday, Friday morning, and we're gonna go check out and see what they have, because 50% off is, is a really good deal. Helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. Pretty sure that's a military helicopter. Don't worry. We live um, near an Air Force base, close enough to where we see the planes. So, Ross, is that a mil military helicopter? That. Is that an answer? Yes. Thank you. It's like, I just want a yes or no when I get a sort of a yes. Well, we are gonna go do something with the rest of our evening and I uh, will update you guys later. Bye. I got book mail, so I thought I would open it for you guys. I know what it is, but I wanted to show you. I've been waiting for this. Look at that. trilogy I got it in the really pretty white covers so I think this is the uh, the UK paperbacks I think that's what these are I don't know I just saw the white covers and I was like yes I must have them yes it is the UK paperbacks so it starts with the final empire the well of ascension and hero of ages yeah so look at how pretty these covers are oh I am so excited to read this it's one of Ross's favorites. He loves Brandon Sanderson, and so he thinks I'm going to love these. So I was like, yeah, I'll give it a try. Look at this. Ah, so excited. Hello, happy Monday. My weekend was whew, so busy, so busy and chaotic. So I didn't really get to vlog this weekend. Almost like every minute of the day was filled with something. I only got a few times to sit down and relax so I didn't get very much reading done. I'm going to take advantage of the rainy week we are about to have and do a lot of reading this week, especially today. Over the weekend I spent a lot of time hanging out with my parents and being at the wedding because we had, I was a part of the wedding. We had rehearsal on Friday and then the wedding on Saturday. I did some shopping with my mom. I got some new shoes. I got 
A pair of nude flats, a pair of floral com uh, knockoff Converse, and a pair of red knockoff Vans. That was really great, and my dad and Ross, we all went to Barnes & Noble. Their 50% off blowout sale. I got two books from that sale. I got Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young and Three Dark Crowns by Kidara Blake. I also got a book that was already on clearance. I got Island of Glass by Nora Roberts, which is the third book in the Guardians trilogy. So now I just need the second book. And Ross got Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. It's a companion to his Dark Materials trilogy. Yeah, this weekend was a lot of fun. And I'm really glad to have this day to just kind of decompress from the weekend and get my bearings again. Ross has the day off because there's no school today. So I am going to edit the reading vlog and post it. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the night reading. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I did have an issue. One of my videos got corrupted. And so I had to fix that. That took a while. And I'm still waiting for my videos to download. So I'm just having to wait, do some waiting, and um, I may watch a booktube video while I'm waiting. I also today found out about Emojiathon. Um, I found out from Brittany Nicole. I'll link her down below. And she found out from Common Spence, who is a host this year. So I am going to try to participate. Um, it is challenges based off of emojis and there's this bingo board and you're supposed to fill the bingo board and try to get a bingo and there are a couple that are host pick books and since my tbr is already set i don't think i'm going to be reading those i may pick up radio silence which is common Spence's pick but i'm going to try to use the books that are already on my tbr to go with the challenges we'll see how that goes all right i'll see you guys next time bye